It's pretty gross, I know, whatever, like, sue me. So, I'm just driving from a call, so I was just kind of bored while I was driving and wanted to talk for a second. So, some people in one of my videos, my Why I Don't Want Children video, some people commented in that video about my skin which I never get comments about my skin so I thought that, that was kind of weird but you know it is what it is so some people were like oh you have really nice skin you have really clear skin and I'm just like you think so because like if I told you guys how I take care of my skin you guys are gonna cringe like you are gonna cringe when I tell you what I do <laughs> so I am a notorious user of apricot scrub <laughs> St. Ives apricot scrub is something that I've been using on my skin my entire life like literally since I was old enough to have any type of pimples on my face apricot scrub has been my go-to mind they have changed the formula it feels like so it's not the same type of apricot scrub that I used to use growing up but it is technically the same thing so after years and years and years of hearing people complain about apricot scrub hear my sister say oh apricot scrub is so harsh on your skin it's not a good thing to use I retired apricot scrub maybe a year ago so I wasn't someone who was using apricot scrub every day or every week I would wash my face with the apricot scrub maybe once a month once every two months whenever I remembered or whenever my forehead area felt too greasy where just regular water wasn't working and so I would use apricot scrub you know I think people were thinking that I was using it every single day and I wasn't I don't wash my face a lot at all for the rest of the time all the only thing I use is water like I usually just get in the shower I rinse my face I pat it dry with a towel and that's the end of it like literally I don't use soap on my face I don't use anything on my skin I still get breakouts I think when because I'm on birth control I don't get periods but I think my body is still going through those hormonal hormonal cycles where I still get like those breakouts whenever my cycle is supposed to be on so I have like an occasional pimple here and there but other than that I don't have like massive breakouts anywhere as far as like items that I use on my skin when I do choose to wash my face I use um, this item from Target and I'll put it right here so this is a face wash that my sister recommended or two of my sisters recommended they said it's really gentle on your skin and I have the face wash which is like a foam face wash but it's not actually foam I also have the uh, toner that goes on your face after you're done washing it and then when I'm done with that I just use um, shea butter on my face and <laughs> I also use Vaseline on my face I know uh, I don't care I don't care I use Vaseline on my face I don't put Vaseline on my entire face but because I have like patches of dry skin I put it like around my lips around my mouth in this area I also put it on my cheeks on both sides because if I left that alone I would have like little dry patches and it could be my eczema I don't know but I do put Vaseline on my face and when I'm not using the face wash from Target I use um, a product by Dorian from College Hill. I don't know if anybody remembers him, but he has his own brand and I'll put it here for you guys. So I have the face wash, I have the shea butter that comes with his product, and I also have his version of a toner, which is like a vitamin C serum. And so I do rotate between these two face washes, which I really could just use his products because they both feel the same. They both smell the same. They both pretty much do the same stuff. So I don't know if it's actually working. So I, and because I wash my face so little, I don't know if it's actually working. So it's hard to like tell. 
So my skincare routine is like very, very basic. Like I said, I wash my face once a month most times, probably way less than that. Like I, sometimes it goes like into month two and I'm like, shoot, I haven't washed my face in several weeks. I need to, I need to do that. And, or if my face, if my little T-zone area, the top part of it gets really greasy, like I get like a circuit right here in this middle like I get a lot of oil build up right there and when it gets to the point where it's like not being removed by water and, and towel pat dry I will definitely like know to wash my face and it's pretty gross I know whatever like sue me everybody's skincare is different so it's hard to like tell somebody what they shouldn't and sh they should and shouldn't do when we both are 80 years old we'll see whose skincare <laughs> routine worked the best the one thing that I can't figure out is like how to get rid of these dark circles and there's so many remedies about how to get rid of them but I hear that just drinking water and taking your ass to sleep is like the best way to get rid of dark circles and so um, yeah that hasn't been working for me I guess I don't get enough sleep and working graveyard shift doesn't help either and so whatever drop you guys a skincare routine if it's as simple as mine put it down below if it's extensive Put it down below recommend some products like i have sensitive skin that's all that's all i wanted to talk about so drop your skincare routine down below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow and don't forget to share like blah.